years ago, from my research, I'm convinced it's much more serious than that. It's more than a loose-knit network. It is a conspiracy. In 1784, a copy of this document was sent to the Illuminous Weissop and delegated to foment the French Revolution. The, mean the Illuminati was responsible for the French Revolution? Yes, absolutely. The courier was struck dead by lightning as he rode through Radisson, Radisson on his way from Frankfurt to Paris. What about a little divine intervention there, huh? The police found the subversive documents on his body and turned them over to the proper government authorities. After careful study of the plot, the Bavarian government ordered the police to raid Weissop's newly organized lodges of the Grand Orient and the homes of some of the most influential associates, including the castle of Baron Bassen Sonderdorf. Additional evidence was thus obtained, convinced the authorities that documents were a genuine copy of a conspiracy by which the synagogue of Satan had controlled the Illuminati at the top, planned to use wars and revolutions to bring about the establishment of one kind or another of a one world government, the powers of which they intended to usurp as soon as it was established. In 1785, the Bavarian government outlawed the, the Illuminati and closed the lodges of the Grand Orient. In 1786, they published the details of the conspiracy. Um, the new order of the world, our enterprise is now a success. He said these blind slaves say they are free and highly educated even as they march behind, notice this word, signs. Have you ever taken time to analyze a sign or a billboard or a logo? We'll start up here. In 1784, an act of God placed the Bavarian government in possession of evidence which proved the existence of the continuing Luciferian conspiracy. This explains the previous nine pages, goes into it in detail. We don't have time to do it completely. Conspiracy. Uh, Adam Weissoff, a Jesuit plain professor of canon law, defected from Christianity and embraced the Luciferian ideology while teaching at Ingolstadt University. In 1770, the money uh, lenders who had recently organized the House of Rothschild retained him to revise and modernize the old, age-old protocols designed to give the synagogue of Satan ultimate world domination so they can impose the Luciferian ide ideology upon the re what remains of the human race after the final social catechism by use of sat satanic despotism. Weinshoff completed his task on May the 1st, 1776. It's a communist holiday, isn't it? May 1, 1776. The plan required the destruction of all existing governments and religions. In 1776, Weissoff organized the Illuminati to put the plot into execution. The word Illuminati is derived from Lucifer and means holders of the light. Weissoff's revised plan required his Illuminati to do the following things to help them accomplish their purpose. One, Use monetary and sex bribery to obtain control of people already occupying positions in high places in the various levels of all governments and other fields of human endeavor. Once an influential person had fallen for the lies, deceits, and temptations of the Illuminati, they were to be held in bondage by application of political and other forms of blackmail and threats of financial ruin, public exposure, and physical harm, and even death to themselves and their loved ones. Number 12 told those present that they must use their wealth to have candidates chosen to public office who would be obedient to their demands and would be used as pawns in the game by the men behind the scenes. The advisors will have been bred, reared, and trained from childhood to rule the affairs of the world. Number 13, control the press. Number 16, infiltrate into the secret Freemasonry to be used for their purposes. That's been documented many times. Number 17, expound the value of systematic deception, use high sounding slogans and phrases and advocate lavish promises to the masses even though they cannot be kept. I will not forget the wound to our country and those who inflicted it. I will not yield. I will not rest. 
I will not relent in waging this struggle for freedom and security for the American people. So I, I don't know where he is. Nor do, you know, I just don't spend that much time on him. We will not tire. We will not falter. And we will not fail. Uh, terror is bigger than one person. And I remember he was telling me how, <laughs> how you're going to see soldiers looking in caves for people in, in uh, Afghanistan and Pakistan and all these places. And, it's, and there's going to be this war on terror, of which there's no real enemy. Who knows if he's hiding in some cave or not. Uh, we hadn't heard from him in a long time.